is new housing, new housing in Canada taxed like booze? Well, I'm serious. Is housing the new stuff, the new construction housing? Is it taxed like booze and smokes? Let's look into it. It's bad. Let's look into it. And it's one of the reasons why Canadians are young Canadians are priced out of the housing market. So what do I mean by taxed like booze and cigarettes? How is new construction taxed like booze and cigarettes? Because those items, booze and cigarettes, are about, when you buy them, they're about 30 to 40% tax, okay? Gasoline is really bad, but let's, we, let's just concentrate on booze and smokes, okay? Now, housing taxes, not your property taxes. These are the development fees, the levies, the taxes, all the layers and layers of taxation and government costs that go into building a new home or building a new condo, okay? Let's think about it. The increase in these, now, here's the first thing to know. The cities and municipalities pretend, they pretend, it's a complete falsehood, they pretend that somehow the developer pays all these costs, all these government costs, that the builder pays it. That's a lie, a complete and utter lie. Every single builder passes on 100%, every penny of the cost of these development fees, levies, associated fees, extra taxes, everything that is possibly a government fee is passed on to the new home buyer. That's a fact. Don't dispute it. Don't listen to any government official who says any different. That's a lie. If they say it's different, that's a lie. Nobody, nobody takes uh, money out of their own pocket to pay a tax. If you're building something, you work the tax into the cost to the consumer. And in our case, it's the cost to the home buyer. So what are the facts? The facts are, we'll take the example of the city of Toronto. And by the way, this was a great, great post by a brilliant guy, Jeremiah Shamus, a brilliant guy who is in the land and building sale. Like he's the a guy who they buy big swaps of land downtown or big bits of land out in the country, industrial, commercial, residential, but he is just in the land sales. So what do we learn from his article? His article clearly shows that for the last 10 years, government has increased its levies, taxes, and fees on New builds in Toronto, 10 years, 600%. Yeah, not wrong. I guarantee you it's right. 600% in 10 years. What One year alone, 2021, City of Toronto Mayor John Tory raised it 49% in one year. Just one year, 2021. So obviously, massive, massive increases. This is a total ripoff to first-time homebuyers. Why in the world would a first-time home buyer be faced with about 30%, roughly somewhere between 26 and 30% of the cost of the new home they are buying, the new condo they are buying, the new townhouse they are buying, the brand new stuff, somewhere between 26 and 30% is all government. It's all government. So why? Why is that? Why is municipal governments, provincial governments, why is government burdening the new home buyer with so much tax because they can. That's why, because they can and they want to. Why do they want to, particularly in the cities? The cities want to because they use the money. They pretend that, oh no, we want the money to uh, pay for the, you know, expanding the road or pay for the new sewer to this building or pay for the, you know, if there's got to be a new park. Yet. By the way, when you're building a condo tower downtown, how are you going to build a new park? Like that's ridiculous. Okay. So, because there's land is already there. There's a building there already. I mean, come on. So here's the deal. They pretend the money is going to support the work of around building, about having more density, about having, instead of a place that only had 150 people in it, now we're going to have like 800 people live in a condo tower. We got we to gotta get that, you know, we got to make sure those services for them. But the services are there already. It's downtown, for the love of God, okay? Services are there. Yes, more water, more... Um, there's got to be more uh, sewer and water. That's about it. I mean, the streets are there, right? They're there, okay? So here's the big lie. They say it's for supporting the development of the tower itself, but that's a lie. 80% of the money goes to general revenue. So why this craziness? Why are we doing this to young people who want to buy condos, want to buy townhouses, want to buy homes? 
Why are we doing it? To keep the property tax down and also to allow for crazy spending in municipalities, crazy increases in staff, crazy increases in payroll. So it allows that to happen and never increase property tax. Because property taxes, you take Vancouver, lowest property taxes in North America, the lowest of a city of its size, the lowest, not even close, like seriously, crazy low. Toronto, crazy low, half of the half of the property tax in Ottawa, half of the property tax in uh, Oshawa, like crazy low in order for councillors and mayors to get reelected. Because if you raise property tax, you're in trouble if you're a municipal politician. If you're a city councillor, if you're a mayor, you raise property tax 20. Here, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Chow in Toronto is talking about a 10% increase. But if you wanted to get rid of all this crazy money that's being disintegrated through development fees and by harming new home buyers, you'd have to increase that 35%, okay? So 10 years, more than 10 years of stupid tax policy has got us to the point, 600% increase has got us to the point where the taxes, the government part of the purchase of a new home, new condo, is 30%. It's the same as booze and smokes, and it doesn't make sense. People need places to live.